No? Yes. Welcome, everybody, to the first day. Well, I'm working on getting my stuff together, and I thought today is going to be a little short because tomorrow is a holiday if you are in the United States. So I've got some things to do that I need to take care of. So it's probably just going to be a little bit like an hour or so. I'm not going to do the full four hours, but I will be back full time on Friday. And I'm working on the equipment situation. I actually got my whole micro microphone thing, but it arrived yesterday and I still have to watch like a 45 minute video on how to set it up. So that's going to happen on Friday. So on Friday, I should look really good. I should sound really good. So that is it. So let's get enameling today. We're going to be doing some sawing, some fusing, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. So thanks for joining me. Again, if you are watching this from YouTube and you want to participate in the chat or really know what my schedule is, and honestly, I'm probably going to be moving forward almost entirely there, you're going to want to check out, check me out on Twitch. That is um, where you're going to be able to find me. So also, I just got affiliate literally this morning. Another thing I haven't had time to set up. So do if there is a subscribe button please do subscribe i think you get one free subscription if you have amazon prime so if you're not using it for anything you could subscribe and help support whatever this turns out to be and i don't even know how it's set up because it all happened this morning so it is whatever the default is so that is all i can see comments on oh hey Oh, I have a subscriber. I had a first subscriber. Yay, hold on. Oh, oh what's your name? Uh, Persian. Uh, I can't remember your first name. I'll remember. Thank you. Very exciting. So I think it might even be set up that you can only chat if you're subscribed, but you know, I might tweak that because it's not like a ton of people are chatting. So let's honestly, I'm, I can, I'm tired of looking at my face. So we're going <laughs> to fix that. Uh, switch, 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 boom, boom. There we go. Oh, here we go. And look, uh, you know, I listen. I do listen to the comments. This is gray. It's a temporary thing. It's a little bit shiny, but, and I have, I think, uh, set my light thing. We'll see if it actually goes through with the live. So, you know, one step at a time is always good. Also, one other thing before we totally get started, I am having, oh, hold on, let's see, wait, let me take the other one down. I'm having a 15% off every single item in my Etsy store, and that will be going on until Friday sometime, probably the end of the day on Friday. So if you are interested in buying an enamel kit, or, and I also have to tell you, I've just turned on my international selling just for enamel kits and earrings. So kind of the less expensive things. So I'm going to dip my toes back in the waters for international shipping, see how it goes. Um, that is all. So let's talk about what we were going to be doing today. I've got some orders and we're going to kind of get everything caught up. I've made, oh, this one's going to be a real fun one. I'm super stoked. Somebody, and it's really, because I've been wanting to do a better version of this. This is the common Buckeye butterfly. It, this is a huge picture, but I'm using it as my reference. This is the original one that I made and we're going to be making a new one. And you know what? This one's going to be really, really nice. I'm very excited about that. So we're going to get started with this. I've also, let's see, we've, I've sold a pair of earrings. Let's see if I can find the drawing for that. Are we, oh no, it's over there. Sweet, but simple, a pair of these little landscape earrings and then a pendant, a, a purple lotus pendant. So that is what we're doing. We're also, I might be doing this later just on my own. I don't know if you were here a couple days ago when, remember this thing that's due very, very soon. We're gonna be bringing, we're gonna be, once I get all the bases done, we're gonna be working on all of these. This is a big project that I'm working on and I made the base. The base is, I don't love, I'm, I did a single, 
it needs to have two hooks here because it's going to have a real thick beaded strand that holds it. So, and I also decided that just because there's so much going on back here, I really want to do a frame on the back. So I'm going to be cutting that out and whether or not we attach it, I'm going to reflatten this, remove this, do that. You know, there's going to be some rejiggering with this piece just because, you know, I don't want to move forward with them when I'm already not really satisfied with it. So that is good. Yeah, so, but that is also going to be happening. So we're gonna start. Oh, hold on, I got some. Oh, hooray, I got two. Yeah, and I'll have to figure out how you actually do it because I, you know, it's everything is so challenging. Um, but I also have a new light here. You wanna see the new light? Check out, check out this new light. Oh yeah. So we're get we're getting a professional rig happening here. So this is gonna go set away. This, you know, we'll deal with in a second. That is nothing. And we don't really need this either. Excellent, but yeah, so we don't need any of this, but I have this, and where is the other one? And this one. This is a purple. This is going, it's not that, if you saw the video that I posted yesterday on social media, this is purple. It's going to be a purple lotus, but it is not that particular shade of purple. This is going to be kind of an iridescent purple, which is going to be created not by using any purple enamel whatsoever. It's going to be, it, you can get a really pretty iridescent finish by doing a blue base and then a fuchsia on top and it oh it's gorgeous but i've learned that with this kind of layering i need a little bit of extra depth so i'm going to be using 18 gauge fine silver with this just to give myself a little bit extra and 18 gauge actually i think it's about we'll just call it a millimeter, a 0.9 millimeters, something like that. Um, so a little bit thicker than what this is going to be the 20 gauge. And we know that 20 gauge is 8, 0.812 millimeters. So that is why these are on separate things. So we're going to start by sawing out these bases. And we'll get this out of the way. And then we're going to do actually three things because the back for this piece is actually going to be a 22. It doesn't need to be deep at all. So that's probably going to be 0.6 millimeters or something like that. Uh, yes. So let us. All right, silver. Should we start with the 18 gauge? Yes, I believe we shall. I've got this lovely piece and I use the thicker just on the top pieces for several colors. Pinks, because I like to, any color that needs an extra barrier of protection between the silver and the color I'm using, if I'm using like a color, re, a silver reactive enamel, I will use a thicker top because I want to have like the, I don't want to run out of space because I had to put extra stuff down here and then all my colors up here and then I grind some of it off. Learned that the sad way. So we're going to do the 18 gauge for that. And a little bit of rubber cement. Let's see. Two subscribers. So excited. Two subscribers. My husband. I'm not, you know, he's so cute. He's like, oh, everybody on Twitter. And I know it's totally because I'm not doing games if I were doing, if I were sitting here playing Fortnite, obviously I would have one viewer, but he's been very impressed that I've been able to get people watching. He's like, no one will ever watch. You'll just be streaming to no one for two years. And I'm like, that would actually be fine. Uh, but that actually would be fine. So, oh, probably tweezers. Let's find a pair of those. And let's put it on the right. This is the 18. I'm going to hold it a little bit up to the light. And yeah, I am going to walk it over and snip it. Snip it. Slice it on the slicer. There we go. 
now. Just like that, you know, I'll take a moment. Actually, you know, already this kind of neutral gray is a lot easier on the eyes than the white. Go figure. So I'm just going to cut this. There we go. And we'll do the base either as a, if we want, we can do 20, or we might even do 22 base, just so it's exactly the same height as in, you know, it won't be heavy. We don't want it to be too heavy. So we've got that little guy, and we've got our friend, the common, common buckeye. Is it really common? I think it's a beautiful, I've seen them here in North Carolina. So I like doing creatures that live near me. So we'll do that. Mm. <laughs> this smells like grade school, but in con like 1970s grade school. So we need the 20 gauge here. I've got a big honking piece of the 20 gauge. And I'm going to eh, do this. I'm going to hold it up to the light so I can see. Just like that. like that. Oh, and let me, yeah, sorry. There's like a plane going over for a hundred years. I'm going to take that down and just do that. There we go. Now I'm just going to go walk over to my snipper and cut these two things out. So you can enjoy looking at this piece of paper. Think about how we're going to be doing that while I do that. Doom. Doom. There we go. So, can put this away. Oh, should I have done that other one? Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll do that separately. Where, where did I put that other one? This one. Yep. It's going to take a lot. So I might as well get this glued down. So remember, this is just going to be the back of the piece. So it's just going to make the edge a lot nicer on the back. And I'm not going to be fusing it. I'm going to be soldering, sweat soldering it. So it will be a lot easier. And we'll see if I do this in front of an, a studio audience. So let me just bring our rubber cement back. There we go. Do we? And remember, this is going to be thinner. So we're going to do 22 gauge. I think that will be fine, which I have 22 gauge right here. 22 gauge 0.644 millimeters thick and I'm going to give it extra space because I'm going to cut the inside out, solder it down, and then trim it because just in case I don't get it perfect, I don't want to have to deal with it. So that is ready to go. I'm going to go cut this and then we will start sawing. So it's going to be a saw fast. Let's 
piece here. Here we go. And this is just, these are just so I know where I'm going to put those two hangers. That was just so I could, I'll use it as a template, not this particular one. But So let me do this. Now we are ready for some sawing. Lovely. Got these three things. We don't need this. Put that over there. Now let's get our sawhorse here, and we're going to do a little adjustment so we can see what's going on. This. Oh, actually, I gotta drill my holes first. We'll drill holes and then we'll get that set up. Let's, because you know, I was gonna, I usually drill holes on the side, but now I have to think about people being able to see what's going on. So we'll just use this and we're going to start. By this. And again, um, if you are, I won't do this too many times. If you're watching live from YouTube, please consider going to Twitch, finding me there, and subscribing to me. That would be because ultimately I might just end up on Twitch for simplicity's sake. So there you go. I know there are some people that just absolutely love YouTube. And I love YouTube, but I'm trying to keep things simple. And I'm, I'm lifting up because let's see if I have enough. There we go. I see all of my... Ah, hold on, let me grab a... That's a better thing to be. And I'm going to draw a hole. How about... Right there will be fine. Perfect. Got that one. I'm going to drill the hole right here. I think that will be good. Got doop 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 doop. Oh, and this guy. I guess yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. Uh, this will be a nice saved piece. Uh, in fact, I'll probably use this interior piece as the base for that, and then we'll be golden because that's good. And I'm just. Do I need to remind myself? I like to leave my future Sandra some notes because I obviously I can get my calipers out, but this is 22 gauge. This is 18 gauge. And these are 20 gauge. Ah, I know those are 20 gauge. Not that I would forget. And now we are ready to drill the holes. We'll put that anywhere. And I like a size 52 drill bit. Just, it's a nice, especially for, it's the perfect size hole for some ready-made bales and ear wires to fit through. And I'm just going to use that for everything. I could switch it out and use a tiny, tiny thing, but I don't really think it's all that necessary. So let's get this out of the way. Yes, so there is one level above. It's almost, it's, boy, at, the gamification of life is crazy because there's already a level above 
affiliate. It's called like partner, but you have to have, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, you have to have like 75 concurrent viewers per video and it doesn't automatically get, um, you have to apply for it. You know, you have to be extra special. So probably that's not going to happen for me. Well, maybe 75 seems like a lot now. What we're going to drill some holes. Maybe we want a little wax. There we go. Just in case. I feel like. There we go. Or did I put that other on? There we go. This one. It's fine. And this one. There we go. Now we are ready for some sawing. Clean this up. Actually, this isn't too bad. It's kind of plastic, so I don't have to worry about it getting wet. This is actually came with one of my photography kits. It's like a gray background that I never used when I was doing photography. And I'm like, where did, and I assumed it's a neutral color, but you know, for photography and all. So we've got this. Now we're ready for our going to set. This is this is a, a sweet little thing. Um, they had them. Um, let's see if I can show it. Uh, it's just because I don't have it. You can see I just don't have a traditional jewelry bench. I just use a table. And this kind of just brings my saw sawing up to more eye level because my thing doesn't my chair doesn't go down that far. And I we used these when I was teaching at the craft center in. Raleigh a hundred years ago. They had a whole bunch of these. And then I had, well, one of my students who was handy with the woodwork and he made me a few. And so they've just been really handy and they're great for, I use them all the time. So let's just stick that right there. nice and good. I'm going to just make sure I have enough room. Also probably would like to get a, one of these and probably some of these. I might even have to go up a little bit so I have room. There we go. And let's see if we can, I'm going to turn off this twitch thing because it's bothering me. Boom. And I'm going to focus. There we go. Let's go for focus lock. Let's see. Now it is there and maybe that looks fine. See, I'm getting better remembering where the buttons are, you know. I'm gonna start, let's start with this one. Start with something kind of easier shaped. And I always like to get a start with a fresh saw blade because who knows what I was doing with this last saw blade. It probably wasn't pretty. So we'll put that in the garbage. And I think we're going to do a, let's do a three aught saw blade. Oh, and I'm gonna have to open them up, which Let's see if I can. I have always have trouble getting these dumb little saw blades unraveled. Give it to me. Or maybe the other side. Why? 
or maybe I can see the end. There we go. Give it. I am going to see if I can. I know I'm probably the only person that cannot unravel these easily. I know they're probably designed. There we go. There we go. They're designed to be unraveled easy, except by for Sandra. So what did we decide? Those were three aughts. Put these back in and just grab one. There we go. It seems real big. It's all right. It is going to be fine. Okay, I'm going to bring the light over a little bit more. We're going to thread this through just like that and tighten it up. There we go. Now that's ready to go. I'm going to move this over here so we know where these are. Let's move our light so that the artist can see what's going on. That seems good. Now we're ready. Oh, do we want to zoom in? Ha ha ha. Oh ha. There we go. Exciting. Now let's just start our day. Let's see how good I do with the design. I like to start in the middle here, so if I don't get a perfect join, it's really easy to file it nice and straight. Rather, if I started in a corner and I made a weird little dugout trying to turn right there, it would be hard. It would be harder to make it look nice and tidy when you're filing. So there you go. That's really all I have to say about sawing, except don't clench your face. Take a moment while I'm thinking and doing that little file. See how it is a little bit not the best. So, and let's see. And I did have somebody on YouTube mention that they thought I was going back and forth with my filing, and I was because in the last video I was using two kinds of files. I was using a diamond file, which could be use do 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 like that and a traditional file which cuts in one direction so that I feel like I have to explain myself but also you know what in fairness 
I took a class, a hinge making class, at Aramont a couple years ago. Really good. And of course, the instructor, his name has eluded me, but he was teach he was a teacher of metalsmithing for 30 years. Super, super knowledgeable, really kind, really wonderful. And he said, you can do whatever you want because this is made of steel and this is made you're not gonna ruin if you want to go like this, you might be wasting some energy, and it might not be that efficient, but it is certainly not hurting your files. So, so <laughs> that is that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with what he said. And I'm going to kind of scooch right like this. I actually want to scooch over just a little bit. Just so we can kind of see the filing. We're working on it. There we go. I like to file like there we go while I'm thinking of it get the filing done and you don't have to file the outside you'll do that at the very end or after you've done the there we go perfect now let's come back Now, now I'm feeling a little bit more confident, so let's go ahead and let's do the circles first, and then we'll do this guy. You know, it, it doesn't, it literally makes no difference the order in which I do things. Nope. Nope, circles first. Yep. We'll save the sweet butterfly for another, for the third thing. We'll be really warmed up by then. One more. Oh, <laughs> I'm rusty. I shouldn't rest on my laurels until they're all done. You know, I think the trick is just to like all of that, every, even grinding and polishing. You have to like what you do. Every, even the hard bits, you know. It took a long time for my muscles to really acclimate to sawing. And even now when I do a lot of sawing, oof, I feel it the next day. And it's like rock climbing. You use whatever your pincher muscles are.
Lovely. Now we're ready to do dun, 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 the butterfly. Let's take a moment, get hooked up. I feel like I want to accentuate these little curves a little bit more, so I'm going to kind of be wiggling in and out of the lines. It's called the artist's prerogative. Each one is a unique creation. To decide if I'm going to do these little notches. Yeah, mm -mm. We'll see. I might make them a little bigger. There we go. You know, sometimes you make it in Illustrator and you realize that's far too small or too narrow. You want a little bit more. Maybe a little.
Let's see what it would be. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, look how pretty that is. We'll save this. It'll be a great little template. So we've got that cut out. Now the last interior thing to cut out is this big honking thing. So we're going to just go ahead and push. You can enjoy looking at that while I thread this through. This is 22 gauge. It's a little thinner. I don't know if that... I don't think I need to change my saw. I think it'll be fine. It's not all that complicated. So this little guy. And this one I did start in this, the center, whatever. I do what I want. definitely tell that this is a thinner. It feels a lot tinnier. Tinnier, but that's a thing. It's still burrier. that for that. Now we are ready to cut out the exteriors and then well you'll just have to wait and see. Let me have a sip of my water. Let's see it is 1045. Delicious. Now Tighten up this. I think we can still use this. And let's go ahead and start at the very beginning. Remember that friend? I always do the insides first and then all the outsides. Get the hard stuff. Eat the frog first. Is that the expression? Is it the frog? <laughs> But I can tell just the thickness. You can immediately tell the difference.
Where's my goods? I mean, I have one pair of tweezers that you love, and every other pair is nonsense. Oh, well, ugh. These aren't them. those wherever and there's no point in doing anything on the exterior until we've fused it so there is that how exciting and then we'll get these next a little bit just a little farther away oh just put that right on the floor perfect let's get this guy first well let's do these That little guy now. I shouldn't mention I haven't broken this blade yet, but now that I've mentioned it, I bet the, the blades moments are numbered. So doop doop doop, let's go right here. It does literally makes no difference where we start. I don't even know why I'm flushing.
<laughs> knew it. Ugh, I was in the zone. I was literally, and you know what? I wasn't even thinking. I was like, you know, like when you're driving and you get where you're going and you don't remember, that's where I was. So there we go. Three. I'm going to go with a, the four aught because it'll just be easier when I get to that other one. Can you believe how close we got? I was in the zone too, like REM sleep. But doing oh, <laughs> like I have this much left to go. Fine, you know what? We're gonna meet you from this end, buddy. Okay. I hate for some reason clockwise sawing. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and peel off with this. There we go. And it doesn't really matter, but it does. I'm going to mark the front. Just so I know when I'm fusing that that's the front. It obviously doesn't matter if I accidentally go the other way, but I don't know. I have standards. We have a standards committee. It's one of the committees in my brain. Let's get these guys. There we go. Peel these up. And yeah, they're not quite perfect, but we will perfect them up later. There's a time and a place for that. And honestly, these can be top or bottom. It honestly doesn't matter. So we've got those. And then the last thing to saw out. And I'm going to give myself an extra maybe two millimeters about. So I can position it on the back of that other one. So that is what's happening. Oop. Because we'll trim it later. It'll be easier.
This one is surprisingly satisfying to saw out. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that attached to the paper for now, just for reasons that don't matter. Put these in my scrap heap. We're going to save that, save these, and we're going to save these. I mean, we're saving everything, but, you know, deal with that in a moment. So we've got our sweet little things and we are ready to prep these for fusing. So we're gonna have to do a quick change of stuff. Put that away. We are done. Thank you for your service, sweet little saw. We're done with that. We don't need that. And I'm going to put these over here, just like that. And now we're done. Let's go for this. This away. There we go. And we gotta figure out our focus. Just for now, we've got, look at all these things that we just cut out. So fun. So fun. Done with that. We're going to keep these right up there. Let's put these in the garbage. Now move this back give myself a little space let's wipe everything off so the next thing that we have to do this thing you know is remember if you were here at the beginning I'm going to be rejiggering this piece and this is going to be a back for this so and that's going to happen just between me and myself and whatever later probably tomorrow after we've eaten turkey so oh and we don't need that we're saving that for many many uses for that and we're done with that putting things away and now we need backs for each of these things. Do we remember where we put? And for this one, this is 22 gauge. I'm going to use a little bit of this. And maybe one of, oh, check out. Well, I love the Sharpie. Look, it has a retractable thing. I love it. One of my students had it in a class and maybe she left it. Or not. I don't know if I stole it. I don't know. Who knows what happened. But then I bought myself another one. I saw them. And I'm just going to give, I'm going to cut just like that. So I'll have this much space. We don't need that. That's nothing. So we'll cut that out in a second. And while we're thinking, while I'm transitioning, if you haven't yet, do follow me or subscribe to me on Twitch, Sandra the Enameler, and you will never miss a live stream because this is where I post my live streams. This is where I'm going to do 100% of my live streaming. Not that I'm not going to do live streaming elsewhere, but still all in flux. Flux. So let me go grab some more silver. 
page. Yes. Got some more silver. Wait, I think this is 22 gauge. We'll have to figure that one out later. I'm going to mark it as 22. Oh, maybe. You know what? I think it's 20. You know, I could get my kick my thing out and actually measure it, but I'm not going to. I'm just not going to use that right now. So, we will use this. Looks like it'll be just fine. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. That'll be fine. I like to just mark where I'm going to cut it. There we go. Let's see if we can get both of these on here. Of course not, but I bet somewhere I might find the silver scrap heap of boss. Hey, remember this guy? Oh yeah, from last week. I wonder if, eh. nah, it's fine. Maybe a smaller thing. Let's see. Oh, just not quite. Not quite. Fine, we'll do that. It'll work. So this will be fine. I'm going to cut this right here. There 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 very very scientific and this thing will be just fine maybe I'll trim him boop 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 so now I'm going to wander over to my cut my cutter and cut these pieces out so I will be right back hang on to your hats we're going to get fused in momentarily so enjoy looking at these pieces be right back There we go. So, okay, we don't need these little guys. We're saving this for later. You live over there, buddies. Now, let me peel off the paper. While I'm doing that. Go. Don't need these. I think there's a piece of paper on you as well. Carolina Wren, I hope you got off. Oh, hopefully you're on your way to your new home. All right, we've got, that'll be fine. That will be fine. That one and that one. All right, we're gonna fuse these four little things. Let me get the silver out of the way. Now remember, there's three things that you need to do for a good fuse. One is they need to be sanded, clean, and flat.
maybe not in that exact order, but maybe in that exact order. I guess we'll find out. So let us get some water. Little water. And obviously, you can use regular tap water. I'm just. That and some paper towel. The last little bit. Paper towels. And now I'm going to switch this out. I'm going to come up just a little bit because it's not that necessary to be all macro right now. I will take that down. Close that. And we're going to switch that. Like this one looks good. Let's just see. We've got one, two, three, four, and stickers. I've recently gotten the fresh batch. Going to use some of these sweet 60 micron sanding discs. It doesn't matter. You could use sandpaper. It don't matter. There we go. Let's get a little closer. Now, that's the front, so I'm just going to sand the back. Just like that, this little guy. And did this have a front? No, not really. Right. 
Now, kind of. He's kind of nice. It wipes down. We're done with the water for right now. So let's just scoot these out. Dry them. Make a pile, clean, oops, just go anywhere, little guy. There we go. Wipe this all down, hmm. just like that. Now, let's go ahead and flatten them. So I've got this. Hope you weren't listening on earbuds. Nice and flat. Flat. Take that. Now the last thing. It's a little bit of alcohol. And a little bit of this. Now, that way. Sweet. I want to do this on a piece of clean paper. Sure, it's gonna fit. Oops. So you're gonna go just like that. some of this stuff. Just neatness counts with 
this fusing liquid. Do let's grab one of these. Let's set it right like that. That'll do. Now with this little guy. Like that, you can live right there. And our little friends, the ovals, are looking a bit herky jerky right now, but Like that. One more. Oops, I don't need that much. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just like that. So you can hang out just like that. Where did I put the lid? Now we're gonna we do have to let these dry. I'm gonna go put these under the heat lamps so they can dry for a couple minutes and then we will fuse them. The magic of fusing is next. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm gonna go put these under the lamp. And, well, we do need to, let's see, put this away, and we're going to be relocating while those are driving, dry, drying to the soldering station. So, me, any questions, I could answer them right now. Excellent. Put that away. We don't need that. And all right, are we ready for a little field trip over to the fusing station? It's just a pivot. Let's see if we can make this happen. Are we ready? The lighting will be totally different. Oh, here we are. Oh, I forgot the phone's still plugged in. Let me undo that. There we go. Release the phone. There we go. Here we go. And I'm going to spend a moment and maybe a, so you can see I've got this thing set up here. It's just some kiln bricks. Let's see if I can even pack it. There we go. Kind of set up like a grill so I can set my stuff here and I'm going to be heating from down here. Don't this is not what, this is not necessary for fusing. You can get yourself one of these easy peasy tripods. Also perfectly 
a reasonable option. It doesn't fit as much, not quite as stable. So this is just what I'm doing, especially big pieces, real nice. And we've got one of these. Yeah, I'm just wasting time right now until things dry because I don't want to start fusing if everything's still a little wet. So uh, I guess I'll show you my torch situation. Let's see if we can go all the way down there. No, we can't. Not without me. If I pull out the camera, you know what? I'm not going to because I turned the camera off. I've got an acetylene torch. So and I have to reach down there and turn on the torch, which I'm going to do right now. Hello, Torchy. How you doing? Doing good. The torch is on. We had a little talk while we're down there, you know, torchy. So let's figure out the place so we can, I don't want to burn up my phone if you know what I'm saying. So take that off. I know they're not dry yet, so we're just going to have to give it another moment. So I guess I'll tell you the tip we're going to be using. Here is the tip. It is a number one, and I've basically just got a plain acetylene torch set up here, very basic. You can absolutely fuse an easy torch attached to one of those uh, small propane tanks. Those little camping tanks works really well, not for huge pieces, but for anything that we were doing today would be perfectly fine for one of those. If you're really good and you work a little smaller, you know, some of my students have had really good luck with the little butane torches or maybe the slightly bigger butane torches. I've never been able to do it with a butane torch, but I haven't tried in a long time. So maybe I'd have better luck with it now. So yeah, that is it. All right, let's just, I'll go get the pieces. We'll just, you know, I fooled around long enough. We'll do now. This one's gonna be more because it has two different size things. I'll probably actually, eh, whatever. Let's <laughs> see. There we go. And I think I'm going to come up. Let me zoom in. There we go. So we can kind of see what's going on. And I'm going to, wait, there we go. Let's frame that focus. That looks good. Let us auto this exposure a little bit. Lock it. All right, are we ready? <laughs> I've fooled around too long. Too long. Now, let's get my pokey tool. And I'm always nervous when I do this in front of a crowd. I got one of these. Boom. It's I've got an extra long hose. It's gonna take a second to turn the tank on. There we go. And we want a really tall, kind of a potent flame there. And the sweet spot is right there. So let's do it. You know what? I'm going to start with these little round guys. So, oh, a little bit of moisture. That's fine. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. Hold on. Let's keep it simple. Small but effective. Perfect. Let's do this other one while I'm sitting here. Oh, I wanna... I'm going to come back to this guy. Get that little edge. I hate to have to go back twice. There we go. Done. Look how fast these little ones go. There we go. Hold on. I'll take a moment. Press you down a little bit. There we go. Come back on. There we go. Perfect. And remember, this is the one that has the thinner base and the thicker top. A little bit more challenging to fuse because the base will certainly be in more danger of melting. So we're going to try to avoid that because uh, if I have to cut out another one, I will. I will, but I won't be excited about it. There we go. Getting closer. But yeah, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this one. There we go. Start on the top. I'm going to pull it off, make sure we're pressed down. There we go. Come back. That. Let's go counterclockwise. Pull it all the way around. I'm gonna go around one more time. I think we're good. And then let's pull it all the way through. There we go. I think that's looking good. Oh, well, maybe a little bit more up at the top. There we go. Now that's good. Whew. Now let me go get the other piece while actually. I'm just going to take this whole thing and set it down over here to cool on its own. Do your thing. Because, of course, I have a whole stack of these. Let me make sure this one is clean. And we got one more to do. Let me go get it from the heat lamp. Good. All right, let's do it. No time like the present. This is probably the biggest one. Probably take a little bit longer. Maybe a little bit more. There we go.
And we're getting close. See how it's turning that nice beet red? We're hopefully just about to cross over. This is sometimes where you get stuck. Oh, there we are, right at the top. Perfect. I'm going to let that. I'm going to take a moment and push everything down. Notice I'm doing it while I'm not on the heat. I'm not. There we go. We have to heat it up a little bit. There we go, right on the bottom there. Let's go counterclockwise, the corner. We're gonna take it around probably twice. Make sure we get a good fuse. Now we're back at the bottom, going around again. Upper right, there we go. Get the bottom and I guess I'll go through the middle. There we go. Don't need to, just want to. There we go. There we go. Whew. All done. Now we're gonna see how, if everything is good infused, good infused. And we're gonna go back to our desk. So let's move our camera back. Here we go this away. There we go. Come on. Get in there. And get in. There we go. Now focus auto. Let's just see where we are. Now got that. Get our light. That's good. Yeah, let's not drop it on the plastic thing. That would not be good. There we go. Cool them down a little fast. Just suck out some of that heat. And we'll see where we are. Nice and cool. Now, ah, oh, this looks good. Now what I'm looking at, at, see that white line? This is how you know you have a good fuse. Let me get a pointy thing. I'm looking at this right here. See how it's a vivid white? It's a basically a reflection of the silver. If you see an area that's not, see it's all kind of vivid white, vivid white, vivid white. This is a good fuse, if I do say so myself. Let's have a look at these little guys. This also is a good fuse. You look on the inside first and then the outside. It doesn't have to be totally perfect, but you know, do what you can. These are all also perfectly fused. And, ooh, perfectly. Oh, oh, well, no, yep, perfectly fused. Nice. We are ready. I know they don't look like much now. They look a bit bloopy gloppy, but we're going to turn these into beautiful bases. So let's do the next step. go here we you pull over here there we go now we'll start with the low hanging fruit which is we don't need that let's drill out the hole we put the thing back in there oops there we go 
go. Exposure. Auto. White balance. Gray card? Ooh, that's very gray. Fine. And you know what? Good enough. We're not doing a lot more. So we've got our three little things. These need to have their holes drilled out first, so we'll do that first. Let's just go back to our drill bit. Oh, and focus. Let's just do that. Very dark. Eh, that'll do. What time is it? Almost noon. So we've got that. And back in the right spot. Got those. And maybe a little wax will do ya. that anymore and we'll start again with the easy ones the ones that we're gonna have to saw this one out because of the shape but that is fine these we need to cut and I'm just gonna use these Fiskars let's just go with the autofocus Obviously, there's some sanding and grinding to do. Look at that very pretty pointy thing, which we'll put in the scrap. Let's cut this one out. Little guy, this guy. Just like that. Now let's go for A plus. That has to be better. And finally, we do have to saw this one out. So we got to bring our friend the saw horse back. See where we are. This will just be the work of a moment. Focus. There we go. 
everything about a, a non-uniform shape thing is always a little bit more work. A little extra sawing, a little extra filing, just a, lot, a little extra of everything. There we go. Let's see if we can just get a little extra light for the artist. There we go. closer, I guess. Lost it. Hold on. Came undone. She must have in a day. to do some filing right there, you know, that's fine. It's because it's thicker, it threw off my blade. That's, we have extra room since we didn't cut a hole there. We weren't supposed to cut a hole there, were we? No. to the pile. Got a little bit of wonkiness right there, but we will file that up and it will be fine. That's the good thing is everything is fine. So I'm going to just do a moment of filing while I'm 
example, I have this thing still attached. And we're going to come over just like that. Let's see, focus, auto. And I'm going to take a moment. And file this little guy. Smooth. While I'm here, you know what? I might as well do this little guy too. We're not doing it to like a perfect finish, just to make sure that it's not uneven. Because that will affect the back if there's a little extra lip or something. So. More important at the top because that's where I'm going to attach the bale. There we go. You know, I'm going to do the whole thing while I'm sitting here. What else do we have to do today? Not go to the grocery store, I hope. <laughs> no, we went to the grocery store last night. It was a madhouse. It was a madhouse. Finesse this just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that is looking good. Now let's just come this way. And we are done with that. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen later on. All right, we don't need that. So let's just remember what we're doing here. We've got this. Remember, this is going to be our friend. V. I'll look at him. He's going to be this guy right here. And that's something fun to look forward to. Remember, these guys are eventually going to be these here. This and that. That will be exciting. And then this one's going to be iridescent purple with no actual purple enamel. Woohoo! Going to be really fun. So, because... Oh, we're unstable anyway, our bit rate is low so it's probably a good time to stop anyway and thank you guys and if you are in the part of the world that celebrates thanksgiving have a wonderful one spend time with your families or friends or whatever you do and if not have a wonderful day tomorrow i will be back on friday and i'll probably have these bases ready to go we'll be doing wires i don't know what we're going to be doing but we will be moving these forward plus some other things so that is going to be happening friday starting at 10 a.m eastern standard time and just i should have i actually don't even know how much it costs to subscribe to me right now because i didn't have the time to look up because i 
it, my subscriber thing literally went through at 9 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so I was like, whatever the defaults were is what it is. So I'm going to have a look at what that is. But if it's something that you can do and you have, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription per month. Uh, and if you want to use it for me, I would greatly appreciate it. It, I don't know. We'll figure it all out. I'll figure out what it is and what that entails later. Um, another thing, there's that. So definitely follow me on Twitch and that would be awesome. Also, don't forget Oh, hold on, 15% off in my Etsy store until Friday on every item. Very exciting. Go shop your heart out if you like. If you don't, that's fine too. And then last but not least, here are my Vimeo videos if you want actual tutorials. I'm wondering what I'm doing. I'm not explaining it well because I'm just doing it here. And you want an actual tutorial with printouts, go to subscribe to my Vimeo channel. And there's a, a link from my website. You can also go to Vimeo on demand slash Sandra McEwen jewelry or something like that, whatever. Just go to my website if you're interested. I also have more interesting things on my website if you want to go check it out. I think that is everything. Oh, I am going to be doing the next video on my Vimeo is going to be just in time for Christmas. I'm going to do an updated revised equipment recommendation list of all the equipment that I use, that I love, that I recommend and where you can buy it. So if that's not worth subscribing to my Vimeo channel just in time for Christmas shopping, that will drop on December 1st. So something to look forward to. Again, thank you so much. Oh, hold on. Thank you for watching. I'm, I'm gonna make more of these little screens because they're fun. Thank you so much and have a great holiday, everybody. Take care.